For this video, we are going to do something brand new for this channel, a hobby video. I am going to be showing you guys how to make 3D Alter Guild Ball cards. 3D Alters are a cool way to add some flair to your captain or favorite player. To make your Alter, you will need six copies of the same card from the same printing. This is very important with Guild Ball cards since they vary wildly on the exact cut size. Due to the number of layers that I do here, you will need four copies of the actual card and two filler copies. You will also need a sheet of clear plastic. I get mine from the new plastic team boxes. As far as tools, you will need an X-Acto knife with a new blade, PVA glue, a brush for the glue, a Sharpie, black acrylic paint, a small brush, and a cutting board. I start by cutting out the character play box of the top card. If this is your first time doing a 3D altar, I recommend you start with the lower layers since this layer will be the most visible one. Next, I cut out the play box results. For this altar, I only cut out the momentous results to add some interest to them over the non-momentous ones. Next, I cut out the stat bars and the name box. After this, I go back and pick out the teeth of the saw, and this will create a nice little shadow effect. Next, I start making the layers. I cut the next card, and I know that I only want to go one level down here, because if I go more than that, the shadow cast by the top card will make the playbook results hard to read. So no filler card, straight to the next visible layer. For this layer, I remove the stats and character play boxes. The next card I do is a spacer, which is identical to the previous one, with no stats or character play box. The next layer down, I cut out the character play box, and the final layer is just the complete card. The next thing we need to do before we glue the cards together is to color out the cuts. When you do these 3D alters, you can see everywhere we cut, and it doesn't look great. But if we color them in with a Sharpie or paint, they look much more finished. It will also allow us to hide a lot of our mistakes. I start with the Sharpie hitting all the straight lines, then I use the acrylic paint to do the playbook and the other small sections the Sharpie couldn't get into. After the, all the cards have been colored, we can move on to gluing the card together. I use watered down PVA glue and I brush it on in an even coat, but you can also use high quality glue sticks here. Once you have finished gluing the cards together, sandwich them between two heavy books for at least 24 hours so that you don't get any curling. Okay, 24 hours have passed and I finished my card and all I need to do is glue the plastic sheet, but I want to go outside of my comfort zone and try something new. So let's encase this in resin. Off camera, I made a silicone mold and poured a layer of resin. Now that the resin has gelled, I mix up another batch of resin. I place the card in, then slowly start to pour in the resin. I let it crawl over the card to reduce the amount of air bubbles that will form. The resin takes about 40 minutes to set, and during that time I keep a close eye on it so I can pop any large bubbles that form. I do this with a grill lighter. By flowing hot air above the bubble, it will force the bubble to pop. 
The grill lighter is not the ideal tool for the job. A butane lighter would have been better as it allows for more control. After 48 hours, I had to mold the card and find the mistakes I've made. First, guild ball cards are more absorbent than trading cards and have soaked up some of the resin before it was dry, causing some of the ink to run. Second, I didn't lay the card all the way flat against the first layer of resin, and I have trapped an air bubble there. And finally, and worst of all, the mold I made didn't have a perfectly smooth back and came out cloudy. I move on to cleaning up the card. I use my Dremel and a coarse sanding bit to even out the edges. Then I go back with a finer grit so that we can get back some of the transparency of the resin. Finally, with the fine sander, I trim the border. And there you have it, a 3D guild ball card encased in resin. And with that, I would like to throw it to you. What do you think of 3D altars? Is this a project you could see yourself attempting? And would you like to see more hobby videos on the channel? Let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, it helps other guild ball players find this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Hit the bell to know the moment I upload a new video and share this with your friends. I'm Vincent Kirkov, and I will be back in two weeks for another episode of Run the Length.